we are fiber optic manufacturer. Uh, we simply uh, do anything, you know, like a fiber optic bridges from UV. Oops. Uh, up to mid infrared, we manufacture fibers for mid infrared. Uh, we are really interested in biophotonics, uh, which is the biggest segment of investment uh, in the current situation. It's data from last uh, summer. Uh, our mid infrared fibers, we are leading in this field, are extremely flexible. You can make kind of knot, you know, from this fiber, and it will still work. Um, uh, these fibers can be used for laser power delivery, so you can see here coherent lasers, CO, CO2 lasers. Uh, so it can be, for example, used to treat uh, cancer uh, with, um, uh, let's say, temperature which will kill malignant cells. We can measure through the same fibers temperature in non-contact mode, because fibers are transparent in uh, the range uh, up to 16 microns. Uh, we have a big project right now, product developed together with Boston Scientific for temperature measurement in esophagus over here, you know, so, and, uh, so this is maybe the very first infrared endoscope uh, in the world, and we can really monitor, in this case, uh, for arrhythmia, you know, temperature uh, spot. I have a video, but short time, you know, to show it. Uh, so it can be also used for cancer diagnostics because cancer is half a degree uh, warmer than normal tissue. Is the, is the video very long? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Yeah. Show it. No, it's okay. no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not incorporated. It's okay. Um, but in general, you know, sensitivity of these measurements is 0.1 degrees Celsius. So you can really see by endoscope uh, where is the cancer. Um, Okay, we started really uh, 27 years ago, first uh, trials, you know, with, uh, let's say, changes of, let's say, uh, tumor tissue and normal tissue in mid-infrared, and we measure it right now, so, and uh, now it's a wish, you know, to have a device. We tried in this uh, case, you know, to uh, play with our fiber optic bridges for any method of spectroscopy, and compare them for sensitivity, specificity, accuracy. We are not the first. There are several teams in the world, Singapore, uh, guys in America, you know, there are some uh, ambitions, uh, you know, of Canadian partners, you know, to put Raman spectroscopy in Da Vinci. Uh, already well presented, you know, by Herwin, you know, our participation, our collaboration uh, with the fiber optic probes used for Raman. We really built ourselves five years ago a system with all four methods to be used for the same piece of tissue to compare uh, tumor, non-tumor, and see which one is a winner. Answer is like this. Every method will give you a chance to differentiate. Question, which one will do it better? And uh, this is PSA and PLS, you know, combination of uh, methods like fluorescence and infrared spectroscopy can improve accuracy for three to five times. Uh, we did recently, you know, for example, uh, this is a stuff uh, for renal cell carcinoma, and you see this is pure fluorescence and pure infrared, but when it's a fusion of data, then it's much better. Uh, we did it also for colorectal cancer, so you can see also this is in this case, you know, fluorescence and knee infrared. And again, with these two methods, you know, you can improve for the fused methods, you can really improve um, accuracy substantially. Uh, you also should, of course, not neglect uh, fluorescence, which is always comes uh, for Raman spec uh, spectroscopy, uh, because it's really big difference between normal and tumor. Uh, we, Right now, today, it's running the uh, applications in Charité in Berlin, and this is one of our first data for knee infrared and mid infrared for tongue cancer for squamous cell carcinoma, also with relatively uh, there is a relatively good separation, you know, of tumor non tumor. And uh, what I would like to end up, you know, that uh, my dream is really not only let's say expensive systems which are fifty thousand to hundred thousand kind of device like this, you know, we simply replace the knee infrared spectrometer by uh, LED sensor. It's only four LED, one photodiode, altogether all components below 1000, you know, and then you can really use it, you know, for, again, lipids and water, 
with a relatively good separation of tumor and non-tumor, each one with IP address, data can go to cloud. So that's why my dream is really to make kind of synergy of Internet of Things together with, let's say, cancer diagnostics. Then every doctor will have it in hands and data from the whole planet will go in one cloud in real time. And then you can really uh, use even telemedicine when you need it. So I'm done. So I really suggest, you know, to fuse technologies, to fuse our partnership, you know, by such a way that, you know, our Christmas will be really pleasant. Thank you very much.